one could be the vortex, the power from the underground. So that was uh, maybe able to hover. That's but possible. Uh, and do you have? Did you feel any vibrational kind of uh, your body? Uh, well, when I fell against the obelisk for a split second, I felt like I was inside of something uh, where I didn't like it, and uh, then I was outside again. Was I imagining this? I don't know, but that's what I felt. And later on, I found out that my shirt was no longer torn. Oh. And it was earlier. Whoa. Uh, Thank you very much. It's in the book, right? Yes, it, it is, is in the book. Thank oh, you very yes. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, Melinda. Hi, guys. First of all, I want to applaud your courage. And I can certainly speak for myself and probably for a lot of experiencers, and certainly my lab experiencers that may be in this room. Um, so much of what you say matches what we go through as my lab experiencers, and I applaud you and your courage to come out with this. So Thank first you. of all, I want to say that. Thank you. Secondly, I've had the opportunity in the last 10 or 15 minutes to talk to some pretty major key researchers, very serious guys whose work I admire greatly, and I appreciate their involvement in this field as much as, as I appreciate your willingness to come forward. May I suggest something, and I'm, sh I'm probably not the first person to say this to you guys. The researchers and the serious researchers in this field, I'm shaking saying this, <laughs> require evidence in the form of documentation, and I know you guys know this. If there's a police report from when your house was ransacked, have a copy, a photo. If you were the, uh, excuse me a second, I understand what you're asking, but if you were the NSA and, and you raped and pillaged the person's house, would you want a police report left? Did you have the police come after that happened to your house? No. Gary was there, or, or Larry, the landlord. Well, he talked yeah. about it on the Art Bell show as to what damage had been done to his home. Well, secondly, the results from the blood and those things. They will all be published. They will all be published. The yeah. charts on the letterhead. I encourage that you present those the next time you talk. We are having to take, and not to say I don't believe you guys, because I do, and you're talking from emotional level and from experience that is my lab experience or I know is real. But to present your case as factual, I've, I've, this community I've, works in such a way, I just want to encourage you guys to have that kind of stuff. Well, we'll to talk. have those lab results in form before you speak again so you can show a slide, I a want picture to say of something. them. Can I say something? Only because it will be a great support to you guys. And, okay. and we'll do what I, we I can do this to in your behalf. Things. In your support, I encourage you to do this. I want to say something. Okay. Not everything in life depends on documentation. That's and right. and I know that of all people. You you have two you have some huge evidence here. You have Jonathan. We have the video with the alien blinking. I'm alive. How much more do people want? What do we have to scrape the ends of the universe to prove this? He's been through enough. It's over. We have what we have. We'll try to get that other information out. It'll the be published as it comes okay. out. It will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. If you're publishing, thank you, and, and, and thank therefore you. you're, you're hearing what I'm saying. I'm just trying to do this in support of you guys. Thank but you. you persuaded quite a few people here today. And again, you weren't here to do that, but the byproduct of what you shared did persuade a bunch of people. You caused a lot of people to consider your case more seriously than thank ever you. before. Thank, thank you, Melinda. And I appreciate your encourage. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Um, my name is Sean Alente. Some of you might have heard me on the Art Bell show, and I just want to make a couple last statements. I'm going to be the last person. Uh, yeah. One, I did receive an email from Jonathan Reed on the shooting on April, Friday, April 2nd, 1999, a couple of weeks after it happened, just for some supportive evidence. That's what I'm doing. And I received a couple emails when he was out of the country also, and doing the, obviously, the Lake Artifact and, and other things. Um, and I wanted to make one, one statement on uh, records, which has come up on the internet, which is work records, college records. Uh, I've known a couple individuals who've been in either classified situations or work situations where the records couldn't be found. I've talked to some other researchers also who have come across similar things, Wendell Stevens being one. 
so some of you have seen that on the internet on the on the records situation so if they want to expunge someone's records bad enough they will do that so i just want to make that statement because thank you sean and sean in addition to that i just like to say somebody else tried to verify or substantiate some of my employment information and was told that this information cannot be released. So it's interesting to find out how somebody got it released when it can't be released. It's actually illegal. Yeah, yeah well, that's another thing also that anybody just can't call up a college and say, I want the students' records that went there. That's right. So that's right. some of the information, I'm not saying all of it, that was out on the internet, I don't We're think is, is correct. And if anybody really, every anybody that really truly wants to believe all that should check it out for themselves okay I haven't did that yet but I just wanted to make that statement that there's a people make a lot of misstatements about other people in this field when yeah. it comes to we're, we're supposed to be all supporting each other and helping each other get through a traumatic struggle here in the UFO community and it really shocks me that at times people will try and cut each other up for what reason yeah. when you're supposed to be all believers I asked a lady today who was asking me questions I said, do you believe in God? And she said, well, I believe in the source. I said, prove it. Can you prove the source to me? Jonathan doesn't have to prove anymore. We've got pictures, we've got video, we've got DNA. You know, I mean, wake up, folks. You've just seen the proof. And one final thing. From my, my conversations with Pam on the phone, and then another lady called Chris, I don't say her last name, who is a friend of Rob and Robert Race, and my personal conversations with Jonathan on the phone, he is going through this process, okay, this stress, this anxiety, this trauma process, you know, virtually most all the time. So this is not like one act up here, you know, in front of everybody, or on the Art Bell Show. That's all I have. I have known yeah. for a year, both Robert and Jonathan, I have communicated on a three to four day basis, either by telephone or by email with Jonathan as he traveled and in person throughout the world for the last year. This man is, a, is fragmented, he is shattered, his life is shattered, and it, it bothers me when people accuse him as well. Anybody want to give me a job? <laughs> <laughs> he needs some help. Okay. With that, I think... Bob Brown's got a few things to say. Thank you very, very much for being here, for supporting us. Robert, uh, Pam, Jonathan, thank you guys uh, very much. It, it has been, to say the least, a stimulating presentation. Um, it's going to cause... Uh, <laughs> Much discussion, much thought, um, much argument, I'm sure. Uh, we thank you guys all for coming.